All right, we're here at LAMC with La Vida Bohemia, uh, New York City. Welcome, guys. Tell us who you are. Share this mic. Hi, I'm Rafael. I play the bass. I'm Henry. I'm Daniel. I'm Sebastian. Mucho gusto. Sebastian. Sebastian. <laughs> uh, you played last night. Yeah. Obviously, you still have, you didn't shower, apparently. No, you no, have no. the same paint on from yesterday. We don't shower ever. almost any time. When we have paint, we just keep it till it goes like, naturally. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah we just, like, so yesterday. Yeah, it is. Showering is all, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. We played last night at the Gramercy Theater. Yeah, it was incredible. Actually, um... One of the questions we, we want, we're wondering is what's the difference for you when you play in, like when you're practicing or you're in studio versus when you're like in the actual moment in the performance? Do you prefer one or the other? Yeah, well, um, depends on the songs. I mean, when we play the, the old songs, we prefer to play it on stage, not, not rehearse them. But composing is really good too. Yeah, I think we it's, like, it's like fun when every time I think we're playing. Uh, for us, you know, what's what's gonna, I think it's amazing. It's when you have a show where you're really enjoying it inside a stage, and the people are like, they're they're seeing it and they participate, not like uh, an entity apart, but like a whole, you know. And I don't know. I think like that's that's very cool. For example, in a rehearsal, it's very practical. Everything, and sometimes you have like these moments where where it's like, wow, this is great. You feel it in your gut. And shows, it happens sometimes. Like yesterday where you feel like the crowd is also participating inside what you're doing. And it's not as much as you're playing, as much as you're sharing something. And I think like those moments are very special. Um, I'm wondering for all of you, what's the difference? What's the difference for when you're, at, when, when you're on the stage? What do you feel and is the energy different? Like if you're backstage, you're doing drums or if you're up front, is, or is, are you like in tune with each other? Are you just calculating or is it, is it as fluid as it seems for everybody else? So, you know, is each performance different? I, I, I think for us is, I think we're, we're very used to each other on stage and with an instrument. I think we're, we're more, yeah, we're, we're more used to each other with an instrument than actually like yeah, this. I think we get, uh, along we, get along, we get along better, we communicate yeah. better with an instrument. And it's very weird because we're well, we, we're almost we, we're like brothers. So when we are on a stage or when we rehearse or anything, and we have our instrument, it's very easy to get to get the thing going. Like it's very easy. Yeah. Even if we were mad or something before the show, it doesn't matter at that time. Everything on the stage it balances out. Yeah, becomes <laughs> equal. Yeah, therapeutic. Awesome. I mean, I often believe that art is is very important. It serves as a therapeutic force in the world. So what? Uh, yeah, cathartic. Exactly. Yeah, very cathartic. Um, so maybe talk a little bit more about that, about the catharsis, about the process of of releasing and processing life. And I mean, how do you guys work that out? Do you compose songs? I think like uh, because of our characters, uh, we're not people that we talk a lot. Uh, we don't talk about anything. Yeah, we. I think we, we talk. Uh, you can talk like a lot, but you can't. You not necessarily are communicating stuff. Uh, so what happened? Like a lot of the of the first album, Nuestra, and a lot of what happens on stage. I think it's a consequence of us not being in a very you know hectic society, and being people that are not used to you know to telling this is this is uh, I don't like this or whatever out loud. And suddenly, like we, without even talking about it, the stage did become our therapy for first of society, and then uh, because of things going on in our lives, you know. And maybe I think that's why our shows are a bit like funky, chaotic, because sometimes we are dragging a lot of stuff through, but and we have made the stage and our instrument a way of you know channelizing that, you know turn it into another thing, another positive thing, and, and maybe dealing with it, because, uh, again, it's, it's, I think we, we are not people that we know how to deal with sometimes with things in, in real life, but on stage, it seems like very clear, like, what are the things we're, we're doing wrong, and, you know, it's easier to, to engage in a battle with yourself. 
So, oh, that's a that's a really deep question. Then, <laughs> battling yourself. What are you, what are you guys battling with right now? And all of you. I think you're always battling with something, and when you're when you try to do something. I mean, right now we're doing the new album, and I think that's like the the best battle we can we can never ever fight. I don't know. We, we like it and and we enjoy it doing it. So. Yeah. I don't know. It comes out. It always comes out uh, something different. So. When's the next album coming out? Before this year. Uh, before the year hopefully ends. at the end of the year. Yeah. You're like you. You're right over there. <laughs> are, are you doing? You're doing okay. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about. Battling, yeah. Who are you battling right you now? You're sleeping. <laughs> no, we battle even with, my, with our families, dude. Oh. Uh oh. E. Oh yeah. I was thinking about that. Okay. That's another battle. And yeah. girlfriends. Well, uh oh, girl. No. <laughs> drama, 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 drama. Let's keep the drama away. <laughs> Pressure, yeah. Like I think, like yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the word. Like uh, we're, we're, we're pressure. pressure. We're we're 23 years old, and there's Ooh. a. I think there's a lot of uh, not big pressure, but because of we are like I think we have a baggage of pressure going on. Uh, I I can feel it when we get on like rehearsals or stuff like that. You can see that everybody like once a friend told me like he's from Scotland. He saw us play live. He's only. Uh, I think you're like all of you are, are angry when you're playing. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and I said like, dude, like. Oh, the guy, the guy from Austin. No, no. NPR show. Yes. No, no, Nick. He saw, but uh, he he said that. He said the same thing. Yeah. Interesting. So are you are you guys angry when you're performing? No, yes. but, no, 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 it's, no, it's, it's, no. But like, but you can notice like it's no, not it's, like a bad angry. It's like yeah. a different. Yeah. It's, it's like a good angry. Yeah, it's releasing really stuff. Sometimes you gotta scream. I don't right? know if yeah. that exists, yeah. but it's a good angry. Yeah, I think that's a. That's it's a, energy, yeah, really. and probably that's something like like Latin America, in in a sense, we we didn't get that, you know, we we have few chances to scream out loud, and you know, it's not something like we we've, we've been raised to scream, you know, your mother screams to you a lot, like if your mother's not a Latin woman like mine, she screams like at the top of her head, but <laughs> <laughs> but like they didn't raise us, you know, to speak out things loud. It, it was always like. Very, you know, be polite, be right. manners, mind your manners. Yes, Ma more than mind your manners. Like, I don't know, don't do wrong. And sometimes you you, you gotta break some stuff up, you know, to make people notice some stuff. So I think like maybe more in our shows, I see like a lot of people might have some baggages of their own, or and society as a whole, I think like has a baggage right now, and has few spaces where you can, you know let it out so arts nowadays are very important because they're going to be the therapy of of future generations and mostly this generation that had that has it so difficult you know and otherwise you know we're gonna go crazy and we it's gonna be a very like huxley society where you know you will live only because you're living but not for the right reasons you know not for any purposes so then for all of you what is the right reason to live each one of you please Wow. Why why me first? <laughs> why? If you want to go last, we can go start over. What is the uh, <laughs> There's a there's a, a phrase in español uh, in Spanish that says I don't know how to translate it in English. Okay. Una, I, I, know, una, I know what's the right reason. Una vida lograda. Like an achieved life, you know. It's it's like a it's not a it's not a um, a, a goal a, a specific goal. I think it's more like a you the 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 capacity to arrive at some point, look back and say, I'm happy with this. That's yeah. superación. That's just clear. Yeah. The right reason is what my grandfather says. My grandfather says, para el tiempo que me quedan el convento me cago adentro. <laughs> that's it. That it for everyone? Yeah. Yeah. That sums it up. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks so much for your time. I hope you, you have a really great time here in, in New York, and I hope to maybe you'll come to Chicago, do yeah. some shows yeah. over there. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you'll be to. very well received. Please. Right. Welcome from Chicago, right? Yes, they are. All We're smashing pumpkins. <laughs> Bunch of people. <laughs> We're big fans. Locals, yeah. yeah. All right, well, you are here with Gozamos. Thank you very much. Bye.